actually kind of surprised how many people are still here um, October 13th Tuesday so some people have moved out and left um, our next door neighbors they're moving out I think today or tomorrow no tomorrow so some empty spots we have got to pick up the trailer today because we're going to take the boat out it's actually good timing since there's no fishing I'm going to take it to uh, Newport Marine and RV repair get the um, motor serviced I'm going to install a CB radio and they're going to pressure wash the um, the bottom boat because uh, you'll see here soon I'm going to pull it out of the water and uh, I'm sure it'll be full of uh, grass hopefully no barnacles the bottom page should do its job something about this boat I like look at this thing it's like a tank nice deep lots of deck space no cabin though but uh and this thing would be awesome too. Not a lot of uh, comforts, but definitely a fishing machine. So if you own this boat and watch my videos, shoot some comments. I like your boat. I think it's cool. All right, this is what we got to do right here though. 45, number 45 times two, two terms for Mr. Trump. It's gotta happen. Cause uh, if it wasn't for that, this boat wouldn't be sitting here. Eight years of Obama, I couldn't even pay my bills, let alone afford a you know, $200,000 boat. And by the way, just got the title to it. So pretty happy about that. Uh, picked up title like two days ago. Boat, trailer, all of it. I own it. It's mine. So, loving it. So, one problem with the Duckworth, with I think the newer ones, they put the fish box right back here. So, it doesn't get this problem. Rainwater comes here and gets in there and fills that up. So, that's kind of a drag. Um, not really much you could do it about it i actually put some seal around here to try to slow it down it seems to slow it down a little bit but when you get as much rain as we've gotten lately there's no stop in the water it's getting in there filling up the fish box um i did seal up around the edges of it because before the water was getting in there getting in the bilge a lot so duckworth do something about that but uh what helps it a lot though is i put some more weight back here all my leads back here and then when i have a, a full tank of fuel the back end sits lower and i don't really have this problem right here as much so this little hint for a, a little bit older duckworth i think the brand new ones like i said fish box is back here because they figured out that ain't working right there now you can see the water sits in here duckworth's the answer answer to that they give you some scuppers so you could drill a hole in your boat pull the plug and the water drains out but uh we ain't doing that so we're not cutting any holes in this boat giving a chance for the paint to go to crap and get all corroded so not doing that so we'll live with that okay just making sure that's even with the trailer right there just want to make sure it's level right there got the motors uh, slightly tilted and needs to go over that way a little bit uh, something weird let's take a look way out of practice on this so you got that it's a little on the left side let's get off and see what's going on <laughs> it 
So the front of the boat is doing okay. Looks like it's gonna go right up there. Get some nice seaweed attached to the boat. Not as much as I thought. We'll see what it looks like. <clears throat> so we're gonna tilt the motors up a little bit more and put that sucker on there. And get a bunch of, give it some gas. So we do that, so it holds the boat on the trailer. Looks level with the um, trailer, almost. Good enough though, we're not going very far. And it's nice enough of when I bought the boat that they gave me an extended tongue. This trailer didn't come with the extended tongue like this. So this uh, makes it very helpful for a long tank. <clears throat> Safety chain time. Damn. We should be all good right there. No collusion. So now when you get in here, ease off the throttle slowly so it doesn't snap my line or something. See it go backwards a little bit. Okay, off, off, and up. So that is a fatal mistake of a lot of boaters. When they pull their boat out, they forget to put their engines up. So, and then they go pulling the boat out and they drag the uh, engines. And of course, that's not a good thing. You can figure out what happens then. I'm sure there's YouTube videos on it. But I always double check. And hey, we're even. Everything looks good. Home, uh, power off system. Turn off system. Turn that little doodaddy off. Right there collected some moisture while we're gone so taking that off there because those always break when you're driving okay Well, you can see that water right there is coming from the mid bilge. That's probably the second time it's pushed some water out there. But now that it's leaning forward, it's pushing all the water that's in the back, collecting at the mid bilge. So not a huge amount, but there was some water in there from the rain and all that stuff. So uh, I know Kevin, uh, one of the viewers, just got a new Duckworth, a freaking incredibly cool 2020 or 21 Duckworth, a white one, I think it is. Uh, looks incredible. Was asking me about the water. So, seems like you always get something. I don't know why or how, but. Uh, so, not as bad as I thought. I mean, it's not a lot on there. I thought there was going to be a lot more. The way my fuel efficiency went down, it seemed like a. There was a lot of drag, but not much. Uh-oh, got some barnacle action. 
and some uh, mess there too. Yuck. Yuck. <clears throat> and I did put some uh, transducer uh, anti-fouling paint. That looks like it worked great. Except for the barnacles. Oh no. That's what's slowing my boat down. So it looks like I'm going to have to get some new uh, bottom paint. Because that's not good. All those barnacles. That's a bunch of crap. Hope it doesn't cost me a fortune to get that off of there. So that's a telltale sign right there. Your bottom paint sucks. The whole bottom of the boat is full of barnacles. Frank, I hope everything's all right. You can get all that crap off of there. <clears throat> Jeez. <clears throat> this is what you call the Hollywood side. So that looks awesome. This is what I call not good. What happened to all the damn uh, damn paint that was on there? Looks like it got eaten away. Uh oh. Huh. Well, that sucks. Oh, it's always something. All right, we're here, uh, Newport Marine, an RV repair. Uh, we're gonna go say hi to Frank. What time is it? 11 away. Yeah, can't come in here at lunchtime because uh, between 12 and 1 is lunchtime. So they'll be here. Hey, Rich, how you doing? Good. How you doing? I'm here. So I pulled it out. I got barnacles. On? On one side of the boat, the whole bottom of the boat. Really? Yeah. Hey, how's it going? Good, good. good. All done for the year, huh? No. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are just going to service it and then it's oh, going back, back in. Good, good. <laughs> I was going to go today, but obviously that didn't work out. Shitty, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Kind of Bars imagine. closed, yeah. Yeah, I would imagine. <laughs> yeah, I would imagine. Yeah, as hard as the wind was blowing last night. Yeah, it's completely closed. Okay. So, Ben, is it hard to get barnacles off the hole? Because one side's got barnacles on it. <laughs> pressure wash them, that'll get most of it. You might have to just scrape them. So, so that means I need new bottom paint, huh? Maybe. I don't know. I'll have to look at it. It might just need to be touched up. Okay. He'll pressure wash it and see from there. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Frank and uh, Ben, they're going to put that sucker on there. So, uh, apparently the charter boats chat on the, on the CB radios. So, that's what I'm going to do. Hopefully this thing holds up. We'll see. It's this uh, cheap set I bought on good old Amazon. We're going to put that on there while it's here. All right. That's going to be the end of this video. We're at home right now. Uh, just got done editing the video. Uh, no fishing, unfortunately. Uh, lots of uh, excuses. Lots of things happening. Lots of things I got to do. Just not working out. But uh, right now, i uh, got the boat going to be in the shop for a little bit. It's getting the bottom paint done, getting the CB radio on, getting the motor serviced. Um, some people might think, hey, you're getting the motor service, so you're going to put it up for the year. No, we're uh, getting those motor service so we could use it all year long. Uh, normally, uh, November, December, water gets a little rough, so might not be able to get a lot of fishing in during November, December, but usually January is um, pretty cool, at least from what I've seen. So we are going to fish when we can. Uh, motorhomes at the shop um, actually trading that in I'll be doing a video on that too sorry about the lack of fishing videos do have to give a shout out to a good friend of mine um, he has a YouTube channel fishing 247 
Mr. Tui, great guy. You guys must check out those videos. Um, we will do some more uh, videos a little bit later. And uh, Tui actually uh, did a video of some of my products too. So really nice guy, gave a lot of shout outs to me. Um, we are gonna stay in touch. He's a cool dude. Subscribe. That should say about 40,000, not 100 or 1,400. So hook the dude up.